Greetings e-reader and app fans, Rob here with Mahalo.com's review of the Google Books app for the Apple iPad. For more videos in this series, head on over to Mahalo.com backslash Google Books app RV. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe below. And if you have any requests, feel free to send those to requests at Mahalo.com. For those of you who aren't a fan of iBook, Nook, or the Kindle apps for your iPad, Google is ready to lure you in with their Google Books app. The app features a store where you can purchase newer books or browse its extensive library of older titles that have become public domain. As for prices for the newer titles, it seems like Google is basing it off what their competitors are charging. However, the store launches in Safari and has no clear way back to the app without purchasing something or double clicking the home button. Once you launch a book, you will notice there is a bar at the bottom of the screen informing you of how many pages that are left in the chapter or book you are currently reading. To turn pages, a simple swipe of the screen in either direction, or you can just tap the edges and the pages will turn. Holding your finger on the screen will magnify the area your finger is placed, allowing for an easier read, and this magnified box will follow your finger as it moves. The settings allow users to change in between day and night settings for easier reading depending on your light source, change the typeface of the font, and increase or decrease its size. You can also adjust the line spacing and choose if you want the page to look like the scanned version or flowing text. Users also have the option to turn off the 3D page turns. There is also a find feature that will allow you to look up specific words within the text and a quick access to the table of contents. The information button will display the cover, publisher, author, and number of pages for the book. You also don't have to worry, because if the app crashes on you or you mistakenly quit, users are able to sync their Google account with any device that has an internet connection and the ability to connect with Google Books. So if you're reading a book and something happens, you don't have to worry about starting over because you can continue from where you left off. Overall, Google Books is an excellent addition to your iPad and is practically flawless with just the inability to switch over to landscape mode and the ebook store launching in Safari. However, those things really don't take anything away from the app and that is why I gave it a 4.5 out of 5.